So I've got a couple of things I want to get off my chest. There's two or three things that are pissing me off right now. Yeah, I've got to get a couple of things off my chest. Talk about a few issues. It's just not right. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. Ah, uh, what up, people? It's my job. Or we're welcome to another video on the channel. Focus start hit the level and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't forget every time I'm on today. I've got uh, just a few issues and stuff that happened after the England versus Italy, Italy, Italy game. If you didn't know, if you've been living under a rock, then uh, yeah, I did a live watch along to England versus Italy uh, Euro 2020 final, and of course. We scored first with uh, Shaw in the second minute. We dominated the whole game up until the 67th minute where they scored through Bonucci. The Italians were playing very, very dirty. I'm surprised they didn't have at least two red cards. Uh, I understand. The ref was absolutely awful. Um, yeah, uh, we ended up going extra time and penalties and... Uh, we scored our first two. They missed their first one through Locatelli. Maguire and uh, Harry Kane scored their penalties. Then uh, Bonucci stepped up and scored his one. Then uh, I think at, at this at this point we were at, we had an advantage. Then Bonucci scored. Then we had to score our next one. Uh, Rashford stepped up and obviously Rashford and Sancho came on. The last minute of uh, extra time, I'm not sure what they were expected to do with a minute left, but I'm assuming they came with penalties. I don't know what Southgate was doing, but um, yeah, we're at penalties now, and uh, Rush just steps up, and uh, obviously Donnarumma dived completely the wrong way, but Rashford hits the post, and uh, our advantage, advantage is gone. Then uh, I'm not sure who stepped up. I think Jorginho stepped up for Italy. He missed. Then Sanchez stepped up and uh, he missed. He did. I don't know why the players did a stutter up and shooting thing, but obviously Donnarumma read it and he saved. Um, I'm not sure who what stepped up for uh, Italy next, but Saka uh, stepped up for the deciding penalty and uh, yeah, Saka also missed the penalty. It's not even his fault. But I'm gonna get into it, and we end up losing four two. It, it's so undeserved for Italy. They were absolute rubbish. F up, up until the six seventh minute, when they scored, they were utter trash. They couldn't handle our attack. They couldn't handle Mount. They couldn't handle Sterling. They couldn't handle Kane. They had to manhandle. They had to manhandle them, handle them, pull them back by their shirts, step on their feet. They 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 couldn't handle our attack and. They were like, oh, you should be scared of, uh, scared of Bonucci and Chiellini. They couldn't handle us. People are saying, oh, that, that's why they picked for Italy. They're two of the greatest defenders. Fam, I'd rather have Thiago Silva and Ramos. Thiago Silva and Ramos right now in the team is better than Chiellini and Bonucci. Thiago Silva and Ramos in, 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 in defence is better than Chiellini and Bonucci. I, fam, I'd take Laporte and... Laporte and Ramos in the team, fam. <laughs> they're, they're bad in killing Benici. They're not even that good. Um, the, the Italians playing, were playing very dirty. Um, but yeah, we're not losing the game. But after the game is uh, is what I've got, I've got to address. After the game, fam. I don't know how this is still happening in 2021. I don't know how this is happening in 2021. But people was sending hate towards Sancho, Rashford and Ke uh, Saka. Man said they were... S Rashford received 70, counted 70 racist uh, messages he he Rashford had received. Yes, I'm pissed. I was pissed. I'm still pissed that we lost. The way we lost. Um, it was so close. We could have done it, but... It is what it is. We got to the final and we couldn't, we, we couldn't, we couldn't finish it off. I was pissed too, but you don't see me going around sending racist messages to Saka, Sancho, and uh, Rashford. 
fam, I don't understand. The, 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 I don't know why Saka was allowed to take the deciding penalty. Where was where was Sterling? Where was apparently Greenish wanted to take, but wanted to take a penalty, but Southgate was there. Nope. Saka next. Then um, he had Pickford at sixth. What are you doing? Put Pickford for Saka. What, why is Saka even taking a penalty? I don't know what Southgate was doing. Uh, that man was so sus with his substitutions this 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 tournament. I don't understand, but um. Yeah, just because these three black players missed penalties, these fucking bear belly, stellar drinking ass motherfuckers were going after black people. They were also attacking Italian players, but most of all, black people were getting, were getting attacked and killed outside the Wembley Stadium because three black players missed penalties. Are you mad? How? How am I to tell someone racism still exists in 2021? How am I to tell someone racism still exists in 2021? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh my days! There were there were like I don't know how many, but there were a lot of stabbings outside Wembley. There were these. England fans, England fans also are attacking Italian fans. There's a video where this England fan, there were a couple of England fans attacking this one, one kid. I'm assuming he's, a, he's an Italian fan. They were stepping on him, kneeing him. Oh, you look. I was disgusted. I was disgusted. I was disgusted. Come, I don't associate with none of these fans. I no, nah, nah, we don't. We don't. We don't want you back. You ain't no real England fan if you're doing shit like that. Man said they they were now attacking Italian fans, as well as going after black people, kids, adults. What, what are you doing? There were a few st stabbings. Um, It's, it's sad. It's sad what this world's come to. It's actually sad what this world's come to. Um, nah, it's not right. It's not right. It's not that. It's not. It's not Sancho, Rashford, or Saka's fault. They, imagine being on Sancho and Rashford the last minute of of a final of a final in extra time. What did what did Southgate expect them to do? What did Southgate expect them to do? Fam, it's the last minute. I don't understand. They had no game. Sancho Sancho Belli had any game time. Well, he played maybe a, a half of football. But Rashford, the man's had three minutes to prove himself for this tournament. Three minutes, and he he expects to have co Rashford to have confidence and step up and score penalty in a final. Nah, you're mad. You're you're actually mad. You're actually mad. He expected Sancho. Sancho played one half of the game a while ago, and he expects Sancho to come on and score penalty. How is the man going to have confidence when you don't play him or start or start him? I don't understand. And with the deciding penalty, he put Saka. He put Saka on the deciding. Nah, 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 nah. That's where you got to go, go question yourself. You put a nineteen-year-old on the deciding penalty. You're mad. You're actually high. What are you doing? Where's Sterling? Greenish, Greenish wanted to take a pen. Why didn't you put Greenish there? Why are you putting Pickford in sixth? Nah, man. 
Yes, Southgate took the blame, but still. Oh, man. Um, Pickford did amazing. Pickford, for me, was goalkeeper of the tournament. He, oh, man. Incredible, incredible keeper. Incredible keeper. But, yes. I don't understand how racism still exists in this day and age. It's 2020 fucking one. Why do colored people, black people, have, have any colored people have to be afraid to go out and afraid for their safety when they go out? Fam, this is this is this is what what what's happened now. Colored people, black people, they're scared to go out. They're scared to go out because they're they're scared for their life. They're afraid. When if they if they go out by themselves, they're gonna get beaten up or killed. It's it's not right. They shouldn't have. We shouldn't have to be scared for our lives. What happened to Black Lives Matter? What happened to BLM? Or did that all stop when? Did that all stop with the George Floyd case? Huh? What happened to Black Lives Matter? So you you're, you're telling me? Just because it's. Just because the three black players, Saka, Sancho, and Rashford, missed their pens in the penalty shootout, you're going to you're going to go after every black person and beat them up and kill them because these players missed in the penalty shootout because we lost in we lost in a fan we lost in the final. Fam, grow up! I don't understand. It's not their fault. It actually isn't their fault. I praise them for stepping up. I praise Sancho and Rash for stepping up to take a pen. Even Saka. Ah, oh, man. They are the future of our England squad. Saka, Sancho, Rashford. They are the future of our England squad. They're still young. 23. Rash is 23. Sancho, 21. And Saka is 19. They are the future of our England squad. Yeah, I, I'm. I was upset we lost in the final, but we move. It happens. It happens. We move. I was just as pissed as everyone else that was at Wembley, and witnessed what we witnessed. But it doesn't. It doesn't mean we can go go around beating people up and fucking just beating people up for the for the sake of it. It's not right. It's not right, fam. If you if you saw the state people, England's fans left. Places like um, it's like a war here. Fam, it was a dump. Oh my word, it was a dump. The cleaners had their job cut out. Fam, um, it's disgraceful. It's disgraceful. It's disgraceful. Racism shouldn't be a thing in this day and age. I don't understand how it's still a thing, man. We're all fucking humans. We just got different backgrounds. We just different skin colors. That is fucking it. That is it. <sighs> I don't understand, man. I don't associate with, associate with those fucking dirty ass England fans that r rioted and there was even fans that had no tickets running f running into the stadium. Fam, just sit at home and watch it. Just sit at home. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. Just sit at home and watch it. Um, also, there was news today that um, Maguire released saying that his dad was in the stadium and he was stampeded by these people that are running into the stadium with no tickets and he suffered broken ribs. So that man has got to pay with injuries because these motherfuckers ran into the stadium and started running and ran out people into the stadium with no tickets. What has it? What has this world come into? What has this world co come to? Honestly, I have I have lost all hope in this humanity. I swear to God, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. And people went and commented monkey emojis on Saka's. Instagram post? 
Go up! How? Why? 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 Why is, is this still a thing? And Rashford's mural, I'm not sure where it is, but it got vandalized. And also, uh, it also got covered up with uh, hearts and nice messages by uh, fans. And this morning I saw an artist, a painter called uh, Aske, came through and uh, filled in the parts that were vandalized. filled in and yeah shout out to you Aske I'm, I've never heard of you but I'm gonna check you out shout out to you for coming through and uh, bring it bringing it back to how it first looked so shout out to you Aske big up um, but yeah I'm, I'm disgusted I don't understand how this is still a thing Oh man, it seems that people have forgotten about BLM. I, I had a feeling this would happen because since no one talks about it anymore, people think, oh, it, it's all forgotten. BLM never existed. George Floyd, like George Floyd, Floyd case never happened. That the incident didn't happen. <sighs> I feel sorry for Sancho. Rashford and Kane, Sancho, Rashford and Saka. They shouldn't be put onto, under that pressure. They shouldn't have been put under that under that pressure. <sighs> Crazy. That that is that is all Southgate's for. I, I don't even care. He, he's a, he's also agreed to it. So it's just got to change, man. It's just got to change. There's got to be more. Tougher punishments for for racism. We gotta kick that shit right out. We gotta kick racism right out. We gotta get tougher punishments for people that are racist. With it, social media online, it, it don't matter. It don't matter. But yeah, even before the game, I saw people making TikToks of uh, Stones just Mister Stones just Mister Powie and. Well, they're in a bar and Stan just missed a party and people would just come, just come and start attacking them. This is before the game. People knew if one of these black players missed, they're fucked. And uh, not one, but three black players missed and people started going after black people or even any colored, colored person. They started going after them punching them, stabbing and killing them. There was also someone that jumped, got thrown in, into River Thames. So we got thrown in front of a, a front of a train, apparently. What, what, what is this? A real fucking football match, fam. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. All this shit has happened because of a football match. Nah, man. Ah. Uh. It's honestly it's disgraceful. Um, I'm tired of seeing this shit, honestly. I just wanted to address the game and my thoughts on the racism, racism and the shit that, that happened a couple of days ago. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I just think there's gonna be there's gonna be tougher punishments for people that are racist online. I don't care if it's fucking kids; they gotta be taught a lesson, fam. It's not right. It's not right. It's it's not it's not right. Um, I think Rashford uh, mentioned this uh, where uh, he got a racist message from a school teacher, a parent school teacher. Obviously, a parent he works with kids, but obviously, obviously he he knew he. Nothing would happen to him if he said this, because 
he's a school teacher. Apparently, that's why that's what Russia said. I, I don't know, man. It's just fucked. It's honestly fucked. I, it's fucked. But yeah, I I, I praise Russia, Sancho, and uh, Saka for stepping up. Shout out to you, Young Kings. Shout out to you for stepping up. And uh, yeah, you missed, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Keep your heads up. We come again to the World Cup 2022 next year. I'll be back. Back again with more watch alongs. You wouldn't know the vibe. I'm gonna start off at the start of the tournament. We do watch alongs for England games and many other games that will be on. Um, it'll be a longer tournament, so it'll be a lot more live streams for sure, hundred percent. Um. Uh, but yeah, I just say thank you to everyone that came through and supported live streams. And yeah, I had a lot of fun from those live streams and. Hopefully, do a lot more in the future. Uh, hopefully, but yeah, uh, hopefully we can. Ho hopefully we can get to a point where racism is no longer a thing. Sometime in the future, I don't know when, but sometime in the future, I pr I pray I pray that racism is no longer. We get to a point where racism is no longer a thing. I I, I pray we get to a point where racism is not a thing, like. One day, hopefully one day, uh, we'll be, I'll be able to say, tell my kid, or if, I, if I have a kid, tell my kids in the future, son, there used to be racism, but now I can, I can, I can say, my head held high, there, there is no longer no racism, like, racism, hopefully, 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 I don't know if that, I don't know if that's going to happen, but, you gotta, you gotta have some hope. You gotta have, you gotta have some hope, I guess. But yeah, I'm send my condolences to uh, the fa families of the people that were the kid that were killed um, uh, during the riots and the, the fights outside Wembley after the game. It's it's not right. They shouldn't have to pay with their life just because they're co they're coloured or they're black. It's it's not right. It's not right. It's it's just not. Literally a couple of days ago, my uh, my brother uh, had his friends over, and they were gonna go home and and I, and my mum was like, "No, nah, don't don't go out this time of because of uh, what's happening. Uh, people people going after colored people and uh, black people. You don't want to be you you don't want to get caught up in that. Like, fam, they were scared to go out because." Because they're coloured or, or they're black, fam. It's not right. People shouldn't. People people shouldn't have to be scared to go out because of their because because of the colour colour of their skin. It's not right, man. Well, th 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 that's all that I want to address. Um, the shit that happened after the after the match and the shit the aftermath of the match. L literally, the aftermath of the match. <sighs> Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think on on this topic or topics. Let me know what you think. I just want to. I just want to vent and let me let my my thoughts and opinions on the whole situation and what happened. And yeah, this 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 was just fucked up. I I don't know what what other way to put it. I've I've lost lost hope in this world. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully the players can put this behind them and come back stronger for the World Cup next year. Hopefully, we can use this as a lesson and uh, we can we, we can get we can we can get further and maybe even win the World Cup. Who knows? Who knows? We've got to the semi-finals of, in the twenty eighteen World Cup. <laughs> If you just got to the Euro twenty twenty final, who knows? We could we could possibly make it to the final of the Euro, Euro of the World Cup twenty twenty two. Who knows? Who knows? It's very possible. These players have 
This pay, these pays made us, made us dream. This team, England team, made us dream in 2018. Got to, got to uh, the semis. We, we thought it was coming home. It could have. But 2020, Euro 2020, they made us dream. Got through to the cause, semis. Got to the final. They made us dream big and it just wasn't to be it, it just wasn't it just wasn't to be this time but we, they made history and in my eyes in my eyes they boy at home we made history this is our first men's england final since 1966 what could have been what could have been it, it is what it is um but yeah Shout, shout out to the young kings, young kings. Um, shout out to the England team. They played their heart out. They played their heart. Out. I was impressive. Pick even being in the final without Sterling, another black player. We wouldn't have. We, we wouldn't have even got to the final, let alone the semis or the cores or even out of the group without Raheem Sterling, Saka, even Sancho. Rashford came in for a few minutes in the game as well, but w without them. Without those black players, we wouldn't have got to the final. We wouldn't have even gone within a touching dis a touching distance. People people gotta re realize that. People have gotta realize that. We wouldn't have we wouldn't have got to the final. Without them. So yeah. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I thought this had to be addressed. Um let me know let me know your thoughts. Uh, check out my socials on the description below. Check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Jabo Plays. I'll be streaming and, uh, there again soon. I'm going to try to do some football related streams again once the Premier League starts. I'm going to do, be doing the watch alongs to Arsenal games. So if you're an Arsenal fan, if, if you, even if you're not, come along. Straight vibes, you already know. Um, but yeah, until then, uh, it's been my Jabo and I'll. See you guys in the next video.